pizza delivery man detained by ICE for months is home with his family today. Pablo Villavicencio was released from a detention center in New Jersey last night. CBS News' Janelle Burrell live outside of his home in Hempstead, Long Island with more for us. Janelle? Well, Chris and Mary Vivasencio says he and his wife stayed up well past 2 o'clock this morning talking and catching up. After nearly two months away from his wife and their two young daughters, he says he's elated to be home. Being able to pick up and embrace his young daughters, it's what Pablo Villavicencio had dreamed of for the 53 days he was in detention. Today, it's once again a reality. I had to complete my family together. This is my family is my daughters, my wives. Now it's complete. The first thing he did when he got home. He took a shower. He took a shower <laughs> the first time. Like for one hour. <laughs> for one. The 35-year-old speaking outside of his Hempstead, Long Island house with his wife Sandra and two and four-year-old daughters Luciana and Antonia by his side. Sandra had fought vigorously for Via Vicencio's release, which happened Tuesday night after a court order freed him from the Hudson County Correctional Facility in New Jersey. It hasn't been like easy, but always we had the hope and the feeling that he's gonna come back home. It was in early June that Via Vicencio, an undocumented immigrant from Ecuador who had worked as a pizza delivery man, was trying to make a delivery at the Fort Hamilton Army Base in Brooklyn, as he had done many times before. But that day, an ID check at the base showed he had an outstanding deportation warrant from 2010, and he was arrested. His wife and daughters are all U.S. citizens, and though he had applied for a green card, he was put on track for deportation. Muy difícil. It was very difficult, he said, of his time at the detention center. He feels that that was unfair. Thanks God the judge uh, just decided that he is a, a good person, that he just like a, a father that wants to stay with, her, with his kids. The court order granted Via Vicencio an emergency stay, allowing him to stay in the U.S. while he tries to gain legal residency. Federal District Judge Paul Crody writing, although he stayed in the United States unlawfully and is currently subject to a final order of removal, he has otherwise been a model citizen. I'm very, very happy and okay. stay in my home for my daughters, for my wife. We are very, very grateful with all of you. And Via Vicencio says he did get a call from his boss at the pizza shop who says he's happy for him and congratulated him. He says he is ready to get back to work, but he is awaiting direction from his lawyer. For now, he says he's enjoying his time at home and looking forward to home-cooked meals. We're live this afternoon in Hempstead, Long Island. Janelle Burrell, CBS2 News.